So, there is a big, horrible, horrible problem with YouTube. Um, apparently, uh, I'm do I know I'm doing this as a live stream. I want you guys to watch it as I say it because I want to discuss these problems with you guys. Maybe you guys have some more insight on it than I don't uh, than I do. Um, but I do want to definitely discuss this with you guys. So, I noticed there's a trend. Um, something happened. I think it was uh, August either 21st is when I got my first uh, limited or no ads. I It's actually no ads on all of my videos that got uh, yellow tagged, whatever the, whatever the specific name for that is. So uh, ever since I got my first one, then the next one, which was totally PG, uh, totally using footage... I would hope it's considered fair use because it's around 10 seconds. Then again, that was the whole video itself, so I'm not sure. I'm not trying to plagiarize. I gave citation. I tried linking it down to the source. Um, and then the next one, I can understand where, oh, it's violent. Um, but at the same time, you look back. Look at my Conker's Bad Fur Day, rated M, adults only, catch me swearing. I swore. That game is M rated. There's blood. There's vulgar. There's profanity in it. That is not a kid's game, and look at that's advertiser friendly. Or let's go back to, uh, okay, let's see, Psycho and Josh playing shooting games. I think I was playing uh, Battlefield 4. One of these was Battlefield, see, vote on what you want for Call of Duty World War II Battlefield 4. I'm playing Battlefield 4, yet that's restricted. Or, or let's go to this one, Psycho, my cat, and Josh play Battlefield 4. Um, but for some reason, that one itself is now monetize. I don't, I don't understand the problem. You're probably thinking, Josh, what the hell's going on? Uh, Josh, maybe it's your, your channel. Josh, is YouTube hating you? I don't I don't know what it is. You know, I don't know what this is. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, you're looking extra sad. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't really, I can talk to you guys, but I can't say any swears. I can't uh, say any profanity, uh, vulgarities. I can't leave any uh, sexual innuendos. I can't leave anything hanging, no no loose ends. I can't leave anything to be desired by the imagination because that will be enough for YouTube to take ads off my videos. And taking ads off the videos, uh, really, ads are what incentivizes people to do YouTube, and I want to discuss this with you guys. I don't understand where YouTube gets off. If you watch my last two videos, no swears. I try to keep it completely PG. I, I, I try to keep it so it's for you guys, so and almost anyone can watch it. I'm, I'm sure most most parents out there would be like, hey, uh, hey, little Jimmy, I know you're for your six, uh, sixth birthday. Here, here's Grand Theft Auto Six. You can now, uh. Rip off, uh, 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 unmentionables, and uh, do stuff now, because I, I can't. Well, I mean, I'm I'm leaving stuff to the imagination, but still, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, thanks, mom, and and parents are fine with that now. So I don't understand. Oh, because a little bit of violence shown in a little bit of gameplay, it was just showing a little snippet, so you guys could be like, hey, if I like this or not, you know, I would grab it. That's what I want to do, and. Apparent, I, I know I don't get too many views for it to count as much, but still, I, I, I try to create a community, and that's what I want to do. And YouTube has this weird policy where it's not like an officially known policy, but it's most people, uh, whenever they get one video, like, just flagged, and they, not really flagged, but whenever they get yellow tagged, I'm just going to start calling yellowtag yellow tag now. When, whenever one video gets yellow tagged, all of a sudden, all other videos get Almost all other videos get yellow tagged, and I don't understand where YouTube gets off. They're they're pushing their own money away from them, and and it's it's like a mental game. YouTube's literally shooting itself in the foot. They're they're killing off themselves for some unknown reason. Uh, it's for swearing, but large yeah, exa exactly happy, exactly. You can actually swear. You need to just censor them. Well, I mean, obviously, yes. I actually pulled up advertiser-friendly content guidelines. I reviewed over this last night completely. Let's let's take a look. You cannot. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. YouTube uses technology. Uh, I'm sorry. Content that is not eligible for advertising. Controversial issues 
and sensitive events if we're going to be talking about things like uh, 9-11, the Boston bombing, uh, anything by neo-Nazis, feminists, stuff like that. That's, you know, you know, uh, Anita Sarkeesian, that's considered controversial even though she's just an insane lunatic. Uh, drugs and dangerous products or substances. You can't, you can't make videos and be like, oh, dude, let me just, you know, let me, let me, let me inject the weed or something. You know, some, some, some stupid crap like that. I'm trying to censor myself from swearing right now. Um, let's see. Harmful or dangerous acts. You can't, you can't, you know, obviously you can't go out, uh, video recording yourself, you know, punching someone in the face or, or cutting yourself or something. Hateful content, that's understandable. Uh, but even then, like, hateful content stuff like like, like Leafy's here or something people consider that hateful but they also consider that comedic at the same time I can understand where he would want to keep his revenue stream but I don't think he should be uh, I, don't, I don't think his revenue stream should be cut off from him because YouTube deems it so uh, inappropriate language such as you know swearity vulgarity stuff like that uh, which I already went with that uh, I went through that I can't talk today. Went through with that with you guys. Inappropriate use of family entertainment characters. I I'm guessing they mean stuff like, uh, like Mario or or uh, I don't I don't know what else they mean. Honestly, uh, incendiary and demeaning. I'm not sure what they mean by incendiary. I think they mean flaming like flaming homosexuals or something. Sexually suggestive content, obviously violence, obviously. You know that, that that's the first bit. And then we go here. Let's go to uh, the AdSense program policies, which, you know, your advertising policies to make sure advertisers, advertisers want to be, uh, you know, advertised on your channel, on your, on your videos. Why? W now, let's, why, why would we want to follow those? Why would we want money? Who, whoever thought that that was a good idea? Oh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's find out. Inva you, these are the things you cannot do. These are the things they encourage you to not do. Invade clicks and impressions. YouTube does not want you to click on Google ads on, of your own videos. They don't want you to click on your own video ads because that's uh, where they, they, what do they call it? They call it manual uh, methods include but are not limited to repeated manual clicks or impressions, automated click and impression generating tools, and the use of robots or deceptive software. Please note that clicking your own ads for any reason is prohibited. So you can't click your own ads, and I guess that's reason enough for them to, hey, you know, we gotta wipe the, not the not the plate clean, but wipe you off the plate. So I I don't understand what. I mean I I understand that that's you know that's uh, fabricating your own your own clicks, but encouraging clicks. Uh, basically, uh, well let me read it here. In order to ensure a good experience for users and advertisers, publishers participating in the AdSense program may not compensate users for viewing ads or performing searches or promise compensation to a third party for such behavior. At, uh, publishers participating in the AdSense program may not encourage users to click the Google ads using phrases such as click the ads, support us, visit these links, or other similar language. So this is completely understandable. I, I understand that they don't want you to... They, they don't want advertisers to lose out on their money if someone's actually not interested in the ads. You, YouTube has... I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how safe it is for me to explain this, but I'm going to go ahead anyway. What, what's what's going to be the difference? It's not like I'm getting ads anyways. So YouTube has this... You, for people who are partnered with YouTube... If someone clicks on your advertisements that are featured on your on your uh, videos or your live streams, instead of getting like a, like let's say like a, a one hundredth of a dollar, you know, like a, a tenth of a penny, a fraction of a penny, whatever you want to call it, uh, they'll instead get like a big lump sum of change, like uh, like a like a nickel or or a dime, ten cents, twelve cents. They'll get more. Because to the advertisers, like, ooh, someone's interested in our stuff. We get our stuff pushed out more. We potentially have a buyer, and we got this person to thank. So let's give them a little more. That's basically what it is. And I, what it's basically saying is that if I encourage you guys to keep clicking on my stuff, that's basically against the rules, and I'll get I'll get screwed over for that. That's completely understandable. I completely understand that. Uh, users may not uh, direct users' attention to the ads using arrows or other graphical. I can't talk right now because I yet to breathe. 
<sighs> I'm also going to be uh, editing this live stream down after I'm done with this live stream. Um, users may not direct user attention to the ads using arrows or other graphical gimmicks, basically bringing attention to the ads saying click it again or stuff like that. Back to the last thing. Uh, yeah, back to the last thing. Users may not place misleading images alongside individual ads. I'm not sure what they mean by by misleading images. Like, give me some sort of context, or I, I'm I'm not completely understanding what they mean. Users may not place ads in a floating box script. Oh, they, they don't even have those anymore. But uh, I understand what they're saying. You you can't put ads in a URL in one of those uh, cover boxes. People usually put like the color red, or it's like white and it's somewhat uh, see-through, it's it's transparent somewhat, and they're saying you can't put ads in those, you can't tell people to click on them. I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure why, because you could sponsor someone and you could say, hey, if you click this link on the screen, or something like that, it, it'll allow you know advertisers to be like, hey, thanks, you know, you're helping us, you know, we're helping you, stuff like that. So I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. Um, or, or what their stand is on that. I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand what's going on in their head with that one. Uh, users may not format ads so that they become indistinguishable from other content on that page. Wait, is it, we, we can, I didn't know we could manage our own ads. Like we can get one specific ad or something. I, I didn't know if that was actually a thing. I never knew about that before. I know I read this last night, but I, if you get, you guys know me, I tend to forget pretty quickly. Uh, my memory is not as it used to be. Users may not format site content so that it is dis uh, difficult to distinguish it from ads. Users may not place misleading labels above Google ad units. What? For instance, the ads may be labeled sponsored links or advertisements. I'm not sure what they mean with that last one. Uh, here they show, let me just minimize those. Content guidelines, basically the same thing as, where was it? Same, same, same thing as the advertiser-friendly content guideline. Con, con, need to speak more clearly. Content guidelines, uh, porn, uh, pornography, adult or mature content, violent content, uh, harassment or threats. Uh, no telling people to kill themselves, stuff like that. Uh, no intimidations, no bullying, no hate speech, no swearing. No hacking or cracking content. You know, if you like, like, hey guys, uh, I modify the files on this game, so I put it in my Dropbox or I put it in my my uh, Google. Uh, oh God, what is it? What is it called? Google Drive. Sorry, you can put it in my Google Drive, and here's a link to it. And you guys can download. You can't. You can't do that to modify. That's what they're saying. You don't want you to modify and distribute stuff like that. Um, where am I at? Software or other content that, violate, that violates the unwanted software pi uh, policy, which goes back to the last thing, is hacking and cracking content. Mal uh, malware. I can't even. I need to just stop for a second. I need to breathe. Malware or adware. Illicit drugs and drug paraphernalia. I, I, like I said, go back. going back to the last one, you can't, you know, just, you can't, like, inject heroin or something. Um, where did I leave off? Content that promotes, sells, or advertises products banned from the endangered or threatened species. Really? I never heard about that one. I think I might have skipped over that one last night. I don't remember that one. Uh, sell, uh, the... <sighs> what am I trying to miss? You, you can't ever... Where? Not include links to... Uh, you, can, you can't uh, make videos about trying to sell beer, tobacco, uh, prescription drugs, obviously uh, try not to sell re regular drugs. Who would want regular drugs? You cannot sell weapons, I'm guessing knives too. Yeah, fighting knives, stun guns, I, I didn't ever read the parentheses. But um, the selling or distrib uh, distribution of coursework or student essays, that one kind of, I don't understand why that one itself is just like, why is that not friendly? Why? Why is? Hey, I put my I put my uh, my essay in a video for you to download on on YouTube. It's unlisted. Here you go. No, it's against our content guidelines. No, flat. You're 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 fucking gone. Why? 
That that just seems mental. What what is you? I don't understand that one. Maybe maybe I'm interpreting that uh, differently from what they actually mean. But I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Did I already I already stop getting views. Yes, it is a kids game. What? I don't understand that. Content regarding programs which compensate users for clicking ads or offers, performing searches, surfing websites, or reading emails. Any other content that is illegal promotes illegal activity or infringes on the legal rights of others. Ba you know, basically legal stuff. Uh, copyrighted material, obviously, obviously, counterfeit goods, traffic sources, stuff like that. Completely understandable. Uh, did I? Oh, I. Uh, last night I scrolled about here and I'm like, oh, it's it's over. Traffic sources. I'm like, oh, it's over. So I guess I skipped over this stuff too. Publishers are encouraged to experiment with a variety of placements in ad formats. However, AdSense code may, oh, sorry, may not be placed in inappropriate places such as pop-ups, emails, or software. Publishers must also adhere to the policies for each product used. Please see our ad placement policies article for more information. Google Ads search boxes or search results may not be integrated into a software, displayed in pop-ups, placed in emails, placed on pages, uh, obscured by elements, placed on any non-content-based page, placed on pages published specifically for the purpose of showing ads, placed on pages whose content or URL could confuse users into thinking it was associated with Google due to the misuse of logos, trademarks, or other brand features, placed on, within, or alongside other Google products. So I'm guessing it, 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 it's just, uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know anymore. This is just ridiculous though. What did I do in my last two videos? What I want to know is what did I do in my last two videos to really say, hey, you, you, get, you get yellow tags. Hey, Josh, you get the yellow tag. Good job. What, what did I do? What in all, what in all fucking honesty did I fucking do? I'm going to, I'm going to bleep myself out. So I don't even care anymore. Fuck YouTube. Seriously, what the fuck is their fucking problem? What did I fucking do? My last two videos, I'm, tr I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. I want to do videos daily for you guys. Today's video is going to be an edited version of this live stream. I want to be nice. I want to work on YouTube. I love working on YouTube. I love editing videos. I love being there for you guys. But YouTube's fucking me over. That is that is the fucking the bottom line. YouTube's fucking me over. What they're fucking everyone over. And YouTube needs to step the fuck up, fix their fucking shit and not have a stupid little fucking tag that says, hey, let's request a fucking review. And when you go to request the review, it says, it says, right now, we are only able to review videos with at least 1,000 views in the past seven days. Yep, submit that for review. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, no, totally, totally. No, 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 no. It's not like I work for you. I basically do YouTube. I fucking basically do. See, I, I really, I really do want, I love, I love my community. You guys are fan-fucking-tastic. You guys, you guys are chill. You guys are awesome. You guys are funny. You guys are there for me. I'm, I'm there for you guys, and you guys love me, and I love you guys. Seven fantastic things. And and YouTube's, YouTube's basically trying to break us apart. YouTube's trying to do this with a bunch of other YouTubers too. I, I, I don't understand. At least give me some sort of email on, on onto my email that's associated with my YouTube saying, hey, your video was uh, yellow tagged uh, because it has suggestive, suggestive nature or it has uh, excessive swearing or it has or excessive violence or give me some sort of notification. Give me some sort of set of rules that, or, or some pop up. There was a pop up the other day, like right up here, right above my video tab or page right here, window, whatever you want to call it. 
It said, hey, YouTube's doing a, a review of how well we're doing. I rated them poorly. I rated them poorly. And I th I'm starting to think that's exactly... I'm starting to now think that that's why they're messing with me. Because, hey, instead of it being anonymous, just like they said, uh, it's clearly not anonymous and they have some sort of grudge against me. Because, wow, YouTube should be, uh, uh, you know, not targeting people. Th there are people out there. There are YouTube. You're there. La, 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 la. Can't talk. There are YouTubers out there who make great videos, non-hate videos, non-hateful. Sometimes, sometimes not even any swearing in the videos. Those videos will get demonetized, potentially even taken down, potentially even taken down. And they'll get a they'll get some sort of warning when they try to contact YouTube, and and it's like, oh, uh, you know, hate speech. I'm sorry. When did using your brain get considered hate speech? Hey, you have an opinion. It's ah, triggered. Ah, like what the fuck? What is wrong with YouTube? I I, I am not. I'm not. <sighs> I'm not understanding YouTube. I'm really not. I want to understand YouTube. I want to work for you guys. I love you guys. Even if it's just, you know, the lack of swearing. If I have to stop swearing and stop putting up violent gameplay, I'm okay with that. I, I really am okay with that. I don't mind. I'll still make videos. And I'll still make violent or swearing videos. And I know they're swearing and I know they're violent. And I will expect them to not be able to be monetized. I will fully accept that. I would not mind that. Do I advocate that? No. Does it bother me? A little. Would I mind? No. YouTube is just not a content friendly place anymore not by the users or the creators but by YouTube itself YouTube's not what it used to be I'll see you guys later